We'll start by adding our callback functions to our forecast fragment. Now note we have two different options here for loader callbacks. We want to make sure we're choosing the android.support.v4 callback so we're compatible with Gingerbread. These take a generic type. We're going to want to use cursor. And yes, that is android.database.cursor. Now let's move down to where we want to actually insert this code. Here at the bottom, and of course, we use control I to actually insert. And there we have it, beautifully, our loader pattern with cursor. Now let's do some work that'll help us out. First, we're going to add a array of columns to the top of our forecast fragment. These are the columns that are going to be used in our query. Note that since both weather entry and location entry have the underscore ID field, we must fully qualify which ID we want in our projection for this query to work. And in fact, this query requires the projection to work at all. Otherwise, it's ambiguous. Next, here are indices that are tied to these columns. This will make some of our work easier later on. Note that these actually must match. Then we create some public indices for us to use in our adapter. This allows us to make our code tiny and efficient in the adapter, but it means we must maintain the relationship between these column indices and the projection. Each loader has an ID. It allows a fragment to have multiple loaders active at once. We're going to place this along with an instance variable to save off our location here at the top of our class. Next, we're going to override onActivityCreated. Loaders are initialized in onActivityCreated because their life cycle is actually bound to the activity, not the fragment. Note the use of the loader ID, forecast loader. Then we return to the onCreateLoader function. We add a new cursor loader. This cursor loader has our query, including start date, columns, and sort order. Our start date is actually in our URI. Our columns are the ones we defined earlier. And our sort order is going to be based upon column date text ascending. Let's do one last check. We want to make sure we're using the support library version of all of these classes. Otherwise, we won't get Android 2.3 compatibility.